Anyway, we can go on to, um, let's see, we have James. How you doing? I'm doing great, sir. How about you? Yeah, not too bad. What you got for us? Um, I want to discuss about the myth of Jesus Christ. Okay. The thing is that what the other guy is saying is that there is evidence of 500 people okay. in the Bible. Okay, but again, do we have any writings of those 500 people outside of the Bible? Do we no, have any other not. writings or anything like that? No, there is not, sir. There's only the Bible okay. that has the shred of evidence that okay. has to do with but, the existence of Jesus Christ himself. Okay, but again, it's only in one book that we have any evidence, that we have mean. anything written down. We don't have any other documents out there from, from that time period saying, you know, Here's just somebody who was walking down the street, and holy cow, I saw Jesus after, he was, after I saw him up on the cross and he died. We don't have any other things backing it up, either physical evidence or outside writings by, you know, completely different people to back it up. So, so since we only have one account of it, it's not all that compelling. It's, it's not something you can rely on. So are you trying to tell me that you're throwing in paganistic garbage of Harry Potter that you believe, which is the wrongest, well, the wrong way. Harry Potter is a book just like the Bible. No, it's not. Okay, why not? Because the other religions you're talking about is false. Okay, what evidence do you have that yours is not false? Because I know they had books from too. The experience of Jesus Christ. Okay, they had experiences with Mithraism and Zoroastro and Buddha and Allah and. Thor and Odin, they had deep felt experiences with them too. So, are you trying to tell me that he's throwing in witchcraft as long as well with the others? Again, if you don't have any evidence to back up your beliefs, there and it's just your feelings. The Bible. Okay, but again, it's a book. No, it's not just a book. It's a book of the life and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Okay, but again, evidence of that. We have books that say, here's the life and times of Ben Franklin, but we have other books, other writings, completely outside of that one book that explain the same things. No, it doesn't. We have papers that have Ben Franklin's name on it, things that he wrote. We have other, you know... We have eyewitness accounts of Ben Franklin. Exactly. You know, we have lots and lots of different pieces of evidence out there to back up this idea that Ben Franklin was actually walking around doing stuff. Well, back We only then, have one of Jesus. But one. back then... They didn't have anything to write on. They didn't have any other ways or tape recorder of recording that event. So then why should we believe that? They were historians in the time of Jesus. Yeah, there were historians back then. And, and the, the, the silence of this, those historians, of, of the supposed you know, uh, son of God and, and uh, magical person, uh, is, is, is quite deafening. The silence is deafening. Yeah, I mean, there are writings from the time on other things that were going on in the world, not just this one. So, you know, there were other things going on at the time that we have writings for. None of them mentioned Jesus. Are you kidding me? Are you no. a bunch of liars? <laughs> that you uh, actually, we're pointing out otherwise. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what we're doing here today. Yeah. I believe that you guys are going to die one of these days. So do we. And the final judgment is going to say whether or not if you live or you die. Okay. So again, are we back to the threats, believe or burn? Well, it's not just a threat. It is a fact. Okay. But again, just like last call, evidence of facts. Do we have anything to back up your facts? Other than, again, one book, which I can bring in, Harry Potter, Alice in Wonderland, anything next week if you want. Are you a pigeonistic pig? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, that was going downhill. So, okay, well, if that's what you're going to do to back up your arguments, well, sorry, it's, you would demand a little bit more. So, yeah, and 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 you know, we, we <coughs> talked about Ben Franklin a little bit. Well, pretty much everything that he did was was rather kind of uh, ordinary. He was a remarkable man. He was, you know, uh, exactly. insightful, uh, a brilliant man. But um, he never walked on water. He never, he never, <laughs> yeah, walked on water. He never, uh, you know, raised the dead, or he never, yeah. all this stuff. And and uh, you know, again, we 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 need to say that uh, if you're going to make an extraordinary claim, you have to have extraordinary evidence to back that up. Exactly, exactly.